Are you letting people control your life? Happy Tuesday, everybody. I know in life it can get so tricky and it can get so messy because we have to deal with people, right? People are messy. And I've been talking with several ladies lately that are just really going through some deep valleys. And we've all been there. Valleys and mountains, right? That's part of life. The Bible tells us what we will all have trials and tribulations. None of us are immune to that. But I think especially as women, we make it more difficult on ourselves because of how we overanalyze and overprocess and reanalyze and overdiscuss <laughs> all of our problems with everyone and internally in our mind. It's like we can't shut it off. So one of the things I wanted to throw out there today is, are you letting other people control you? And by that, I mean, many times in life, if we are harboring and holding on to events or situations that have disappointed us, people that have let us down in major ways, and we're holding on to unforgiveness, let's say, resentment, anger, bitterness, jealousy, the list goes on and on. At the root of all of that is usually a person, a person that you cannot control, a person that made choices that you would have not chosen. And so you are hung up on that and it has changed your life in some way, in many ways, and you are now in a situation you thought you would never be in. You look at your life possibly and say, how did this happen? How did I get here? Every decision I made was so calculated to avoid this. And so I understand. I've been there. Now my choices were my own. But sometimes that comes on us because of other people's decisions. So my challenge to you is this. When you finally understand that the things that you are holding on to, the things that you couldn't control in the first place, right? They were out of your hand. When you finally decide to release that, and what I call giving it over to God, some people call letting it go, whatever your belief system, you will find such peace and freedom in that. Because that is the place where your emotions are no longer on the roller coaster of whoever you're letting drive your emotions. So I believe if you are harboring unforgiveness, anger, bitterness, jealousy, whatever that might be, the person you are upset with is in the driver's seat of your emotions. Depending on what they are doing in whatever given day is determines the day that you have. That's miserable. No. From this day forward, I challenge you to look at it differently. Get angry at the fact that this person has had so much control over you. The very person that probably would not give you the time and energy that you deserve is the same person that's sucking the time and energy from your life. Does that make sense? Because you are harboring all this emotion around this individual that you can't change, that you can't control. So the only person we can control in life is ourselves, right? And really, that's a beautiful thing. Because anyone else, if they do something against me, if they disappoint me, ultimately, that does affect me. But I can say, you know what? I wouldn't have done it that way. I don't understand you. I probably will never understand you. And your decision to do X, Y, Z, whatever it is, is between you and the Lord. Good luck with that. And then just decide, you know what? That person that wouldn't give me their time, their energy, their love. Why am I spending so much of my time and my energy on them? They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Why are you giving so much time and so much energy and so much of your emotion to someone that wouldn't do the same for you? So anyway, that was just on me, and I don't know who that speaks to, but you've got too many wonderful things ahead of you, truly. And too many wonderful people that will give you their time, will give you their attention, will give you their energy, will give you their love, right? 
And there's this old saying, you can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. And I did that for so many years until I finally got mad enough and sick and tired enough to change. So I challenge you, don't take seven years to change like I did. Choose different. Do it different today. You can do this, and life will be so much better. You'll have so much more peace. You'll enjoy your family more. You'll enjoy your children more. You'll remember things better because <laughs> you won't be tied up in emotion and anger and resentment and disappointment. Let it go. Look up. And you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope that helps someone out there. Bye.